What is up everyone, Tech Me Out here and today I am back with episode 3, is this 3 or is this 4? With episode 4 of the Perfect Setup Battle. If this is your first time hearing of this, I'm going to have a video linked down below that all of you can check out. It's going to give you all the details regarding the series and the requirements to submit your setup. So in today's battle, I will present five setups in which you're going to choose the winner from by casting your vote down below. Now, the results are going to be tallied up on Saturday and announced on Sunday via my Twitter and Instagram. As the winner, you'll receive a gift card to Amazon or iTunes. Plus, you can have your setup featured on my website. I'm going to contact the winners via the email they submitted their setup from. So if you happen to be the winner, keep an eye out there. Now in today's lineup, we have Ismail, Serena, Alex, Jasmine, and iTechno. I'm going to be showing their setups and mentioning a few tweaks that they have installed. However, their full tweak list can be found down below in the description box. So without any further ado, let the battle begin. Now my first submission comes from Ismail with his theme entitled Exodus. Starting with his lock screen, it's sporting somewhat of a futuristic look. Now I'm feeling that clock and date setup which was achieved with the combination of Lock Plus, Sigit, Hide Me X, and Spring to Mice 3. Everything looks pretty clean with only the bare minimal visible. When you move on into his home screen, things are kept even more simple here. A mixture of tweaks were installed that include Insta Launcher to access all of his apps, being that most of them are hidden. Our widget was used for his minimal clock bound at the top, and the white icon set he has installed is the all-time popular Glyphs and CJ Glyphs. Now, Ismail took on the option to theme other areas of his phone to keep things unified as much as possible. So his control center has been changed, settings and his messages overall everything looks great to me and it's an added bonus that this black and gray theme he has going on here is echoed throughout his entire device also big up to ismail for keeping things organized when he submitted his setup everything was laid out nice and neat in sections so i didn't have to guess which tweaks are installed in specific areas of his phone plus it makes it easier to follow for all of you who happen to refer to the description box for the tweet list so hint hint for those submitting your setups in the future Please make sure you follow the requirements and take a little time and attention to section things off like this. Now my second submission comes from Serena with her delicious looking setup known as Basic Blue. Y'all and these food setups get me every time. I seriously want some ice cream now, but we're gonna focus for now on this lock screen. She achieved this with Lock Plus, Spring to Moss 3, Color Bar, and Jelly Lock Unified to name a few. I like how just the necessary things are shown here because the status bar is hidden, which places all eyes on the wallpaper and clock theme. Now when you unlock her device, you are greeted with a few apps that are placed for quick access while everything else can be accessed access at the bottom with an app drawer. She also placed her Andorra themed icons in this formation using Boxy2 and completely rearranged things in a rather neat way within her status bar using movable. Her control center was also changed and looks pretty neat as a lot of the icons and options that you typically find here have been hidden. And big up to you as well Serena because you also nailed it by keeping things nice and neat with all of your tweaks grouped together by section. Now my third submission comes from Alex with his unique gray base theme. His lock screen was done with Lock Plus in conjunction with Lock Glyph to provide an animated glyph at the bottom when his fingerprint is scanned. When you move on to his home screen, the first thing that caught my eye were the icons, which are from the Zoo Boy Midnight theme. Moving up from his icons, I'm really feeling his widget choices here, which are Stripe for the Clock and Weather, and then Search Widgets for the Google Search Bar. Now this theme does stretch out to his control center, providing it with text icons for his flip toggles instead of the typical icons. And another big up yet again. Another one for submitting a well-organized list of tweaks in conjunction with this eye-catching setup. Now sliding on to my fourth submission, better known as Pale Grunger, comes from, did I say that right? Pale Grunger? Oh, Pell Grunge. Okay, I thought I said something wrong. <laughs> Moving on to my fourth submission, better known as Pell Grunge, comes from Jasmine. She went for a very minimal clean look on her lock screen with the JJ.LS161 theme for her clock. Her cute passcode screen has these eye-catching pink buttons where the numbers and letters have been removed, thanks to a few tweaks that include faces, simple passcode buttons, and sleek code. Once you unlock her device, you are greeted with the Gotham iPhone theme. Her font was also changed to a new font face known as KG First Time in Forever. In addition to switching up her home screen and lock screen, she also tweaked her control center, keeping everything nice and clean with a slight spin on things. Another one. Yep, big up to Jasmine as well for a organized submission list and simplistic setup. Now my final submission comes from iTechno with his black leather setup. Starting with his lock screen, we have a look that instantly makes me think, premium with that leather background and clock setup which he used lock plus and the dotted theme to achieve this look towards the bottom of his screen he's running barry c8 to have the option to quickly unlock his device straight into his chosen app 
I like that. Moving on to his home screen, I am most certainly feeling his theme here, which is known as Flat 6. Very eye-catching. His control center looks pretty stock, but overall a well-organized setup. And another big up to iTechno as well for submitting a clean tweak list and a clean setup. So that's going to wrap things up for my five submissions this week. Please cast your vote on who you think had the best setup by stating their name below in the comments section with the hashtag in front of it. Should the win go to Ismail, Serena, Alex, Jasmine, or iTechno? The winner will be chosen this Saturday and announced on Sunday via my Twitter and Instagram. So follow me up there to find out who left with the win. And once again, please be sure to include that hashtag with the name of the person you want to win. It truly helps a great deal when I'm trying to tally up the votes. Now, if you have not submitted your setup and you are interested in doing so or just curious about the details of this perfect setup battle series in general, then click the link in the video or check the description box below. Other than that, check back next Monday for episode five of the perfect setup battle. I cannot believe we're on episode five now. Wow. All right, let's keep it rolling. Please share this video because the series is only going to be successful as you make it. I got more gorgeous setups that you definitely don't want to miss. Till next time, as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.